Hi, I'm Jeff Latham. I'm here speaking to you today on Rescue TV. You're on Rescue TV. I'm excited to bring you Sir Jeff Latham. You see? And I Rescue TV. I love that. It's so We're rescuing each other today. So we brought you out here to do workshops. Um, I believe you've been doing some incredible things for uh, stylists, uh, for florists. Stylists, florists. Um, uh, potential brides for Wedded Wonderland and um, at the same time for Waterford Crystal. And we're yeah. so excited to see you here because of course we absolutely adore Waterford Crystal and we love your designs for them and you guys have a relationship from way back. Wait. But I have to say you are very young and for what you've achieved it's actually... I paid her a lot of money to say that. It's so, extraordinary. Yeah. But honestly, I mean to, to first of all to crack the French is yeah. no mean feat. No. To I'm still creative, working on that. To yes. be the creative director of a venerable institution like the Georges mm -hmm. Sack, it, how did that come about? I think that the reason why we probably broke it and kind of achieved such success is because I really didn't know much about the hotel when I arrived there. So when I walked in there, um, I wasn't intimidated by the reputation because I didn't know much about it. Tell them now the floral design and the whole design aspect in general of the hotel People has become come so to iconic. Visit. You were on like, the top 10 list of things to do in Paris. It's amazing. I know, it's crazy. And I'm just the, this little Mormon boy from Utah. Tell me, good. I'm really interested in your interpretation of luxury because <clears throat> it seems to have proliferated into kind of mm -hmm. everyday parlance, whereas I like I like the idea of luxury being somewhat rarefied. Mm -hmm. um, tell me what your vision of luxury is. I think luxury now has been, um, I think the last five years it's been cheapened so much um, mm, in a way. I mean. uh, and I feel like now everyone wants a little bit of luxury and there's these this young generation of very talented designers mm -hmm. um, who do amazing jobs but the um, the day of luxury elegance which I uh, get my, all my inspiration from mm -hmm. um, doesn't exist anymore. You've worked with so many celebrities and um, incredible brands and uh, we've seen you on so many shows and screens. Mm -hmm. Are there any collaborations that to you really uh, you felt like there was a complete symbiosis of a meeting of the mind in the term of luxury. Well, about uh, I really feel like you know nowadays in the design world in general, it's all about collaboration. Yeah. Um, my work with Waterford Crystal is great because what we wanted to do is with Florology, we wanted to take that brand and those designs. And I remember as a child, how many times did you have like a luxury vase in your home, but you weren't allowed to touch it? because it was so beautiful. You're right. We wanted to really, you know, reverse that psychology and say like it's luxury, it's beautiful. Yes, it's expensive, but we want you to use it and we want you to create collections rather than having things that just collect dust. And that's what we did with florology. And what's next for you? What are you working on? At the I think now it's just all about b building my brand, um, staying iconic staying ahead of the times and fresh you know, obviously. and fresh i have my new design office in los angeles that we're doing such exciting things um in the luxury world on the design level you know i'm designing several um permanent installations in okay. in shopping centers you know in dubai in brazil in america you know i think it's important when you're a designer to not do too much um that way you can tr control your brand um, and to keep your team excited and happy because my team um, is really an extension of me. I'm going to ask you a, a really simple question about flowers. Have you got some simple tips for, for everyday living with flowers and how to bring you sure. know, flowers into your life, into your home? Sure. A lot of great artists, they when they're creating, they think about threes. If you look at, oh. at Picasso or Monet or Van Gogh, they really paint it in, in, they break everything into threes. And that's what I do. You know, it's about th keeping things clean, simple, and chic. It's about never using more than three types of flowers and never using more than three types of monochromatic colors together. Right. So I really feel like if you stick with the three rule, then you're always good. And do you have favorite flowers for your threesomes? <laughs> oh yes, my favorite threesome is, you know, is uh, orchids, cow lilies, um, and roses. Those are my three favorite flowers. Um, and then I like, uh, you know, I like peonies, but my favorite flower is a magnolia. Um, yeah. Just a big white grandi flora magnolia because it's so beautiful, sensual, the smell is amazing, and it doesn't last very long, like great moments in life. You just have to appreciate them while they're there, and then they go away. And if you were designing the ultimate bridal bouquet, what mm -hmm. would be in the ultimate bridal bouquet? I, th I, I often do Lily the Valley for my brides because if you look back um, the in the uh, the history of all princesses, um, as goes back for a hundred years or more, 
every princess probably in the history has always carried, you know, from Princess Diana to um, Queen Elizabeth to, you know, Princess Grace to Kate Middleton, everyone's always carried Lily the Valley. And so I always feel like every bride should feel like a princess on their on their wedding. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking with us. Have a wonderful time and we can't wait to celebrate with you with Waterford Christmas exactly. tonight. Exactly. Thank you. It's going to be a great Bye. party.